three, two. Hi, you guys. Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So, Butterick has released their new patterns for spring, and I am so ready to see what they have got in store for us. If I had to pick one big four pattern that I would call my favorite, I think it would be Butterick. So, I'm super excited to see what they've got. They only do four collections a year, so should be good. Let's jump right in. Our first pattern is this top dress, skirt, and pants. It's a lifestyle wardrobe. I've talked to you guys before about how much I love the lifestyle wardrobe uh, patterns because you get so much variety, so many patterns. You get, you know, enough to make an entire spring wardrobe in one pattern. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. This one is super cute. It looks like it has um, like a asymmetrical kind of vibe going with at least the top and the dress. Um, I'm loving the peplum. Cute little, uh, I would say age appropriate pants. Not too tight, definitely not like jeans, um, but a lot of ease through the thigh, which is really nice. Um, kind of like a, a flowy dress. I, I don't know how I feel about this style of neckline, but it feels a little, well, it does have a bit of a vintage vibe to it, but kind of like a 1940s nurse, maybe. Um, this one's super cool, though. I could get behind that kind of like crossover asymmetrical look to it. Um, you could even also uh, extend the length of the peplum and have more of like a fit and flare dress so you get even more out of this pattern. The skirt on this, I will say, is really cute. Maybe this skirt on this top would also be an adorable option. I kind of love the one patch pocket too. That's really fun. It's a little bit hard to see on with such a busy print on uh, this sample that they made up. Uh uh, this one's better. I don't know. I, maybe this is more like a 90s office professional. I don't know. It reminds me of something my mom would have worn. <laughs> She's a lawyer. So I guess lawyers <laughs> would wear that. I don't know. That's probably a very bad reference. But um, And then we've got this really cute skirt. Again, hard to see. I appreciate very, very much that they made up a sample of every single item in the lifestyle wardrobe, but you can't really see the top of the skirt with the peplum. That would be my only complaint, but it's pretty straightforward. Some version of a half circle skirt, quarter circle skirt, something like that. But no waistband, just some top stitching, maybe a facing in there, side zip. And then we've got these little pants that have just um, one dart in the front and one dart in the back. So not super shapely um, for those of us who are more curved. But in general, a cute little basic wardrobe collection. Right? Oh, here's the dress undone to make it more of like a jacket. Interesting. Okay, now we've got, it looks like a dress. Yeah, dress and sash. Oh, so it's again with the same crossover asymmetrical thing. Oh, it does have back darts. That's good. Um, okay. Yep, same as the first picture. Here's the back. I love the fit. It's great. Just, just great. This feels a little, is that the zipper all the way down there? And it feels a little long. Um, all right, well, that's it. Just the one dress with uh, sleeveless or um, short sleeves. And then the difference between these two is what? I don't know. I can't see it with the sash, without the sash. I don't know. No. A, B. Oh, the length. 
gosh, I always forget about the length. So knee length and then like shortly, oh, slightly, slightly below the knee. I'm not sure if you heard that crash, but my dog just went flying, fell off the sofa. I shouldn't be laughing. That's horrible. He can get really hurt, but he's fine. It happens a lot, actually. He has stares and sometimes he just misses a stare is all. But he's trotting off perfectly fine, if not embarrassed. Okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, there you go. Little petite dress. Here are the, I forgot to do the sizes on the first one. Uh, so six through 14 and then 14 through 22. I'm pretty sure that's pretty standard for all butter egg patterns. They're all going to be that, I think. Okay. Now we've got this dress with like a high, uh, almost like an empire waist, but like a waistband with maybe some darting right up under the bust. Okay. I don't love those sleeves, but here it is sleeveless with a keyhole. I don't love the contrast either, but that's an easy fix. Oh, and it wraps around. That is kind of neat, actually. Okay. Semi-fitted dress, invisible black zipper, double midriff and bodice. I don't know what that means. Double midriff? Hmm. Uh, length, sleeve, and fabric variations. And again, same sizing as the other one bias tape finish for those armholes. That's cute. I'm sure they're suggesting like drapey fabrics, rayon chalet, rayon crepe, especially with sleeves like this. Lightweight cottons like voile would be nice. There you go. I do like this version um, in the line drawing better than in the picture here, um, which makes me think I would like it if it were all one fabric and no contrast um, bindings or waistband. But this little bust is uh, gathering is a really nice detail. It helps you get a really good, good fit. All right, next up, custom cup sizes. Great feature, dress, jumpsuit, and sash. So we've got this wrap dress, high-low hem. That's the same version, I think. Here's the jumpsuit. Princess seams, a little slash pocket. The shawl collar is interesting for spring. You really kind of only see that um, in the fall and winter, but uh, it's a nice application for spring too, I think. All right. Here are the other line drawings. Beautiful long back darts. This is just a longer version of this and the sleeves have this little bell detail. And then the jumpsuit. Pretty straightforward. Fabrics are chalet, rayon, crepe, linen, cotton blends. That's going to be pretty um, standard, I think, across the board for spring anyways. You know, you're not going to see any wools or heavy knits or anything like that. All right, now we've got a fast and easy. That's fun. It's a beautiful border print fabric that they found. Pullover knit dress. It's got this little like band thing. Or not. High low hem on this maxi version. Okay. Oh, a little crossover back with like a little keyhole. Center back seam on the skirt. 
All right, let's look at these line drawings. All right, here we go. That's interesting. Cute for like a vacation, right? Like you're gonna make this out of a knit. It's designed for a knit. Um, so yeah, you can make it out of a jersey or any of these. And you know, it's kind of got some polyester or some elastane in it that helps prevent wrinkling, right? So it'd be great for a vacation. You could throw it in your bag and wear it over a bathing suit and then go out to dinner after. Um, very versatile in that regard. Um, and then every day it's kind of nice too, you know, to wear out. It depend, depending on what you do for work, you know, it could be work appropriate. Very versatile little pattern. Yeah. Cool. All right, now we've got a dress. Oh, so maybe for like, I'm getting wedding or like an event with all these little chiffon layers. Here it is without the layers, just a standard sheath shift. I'm still getting confused between those two with a lovely sleeve. This looks really good on her. Proportions are great on this whole thing. Um, let's see the sizing. Okay, so this one goes from eight to 16 and then 18 to 24. So I did misspeak earlier. They all are not the same. Um, some are offered in the larger sizes. So, okay. Um, here's the first picture with this sleeve attached. There's the second picture. Okay. It does look like we have some darting going on in the back. Let's get to the line drawings here. So yeah, these little layers, little layers. I wish they showed what was going on under here with darting and seaming and stuff, but look, yay. So they took the work out of it and went ahead and added those, which is nice. They are loving this little banded neckline thing. They, that's the second time I've seen it. We've only been through a couple of patterns. Um, so chalet crepe rayon, and then the overlay is going to be a chiffon or georgette or anything kind of sheer and lightweight. Um, in case you're wondering, those are easier to hem. The layers are easier to hem than you would think. Um, you can run them through your serger. Your serger has a rolled hem feature, um, that will finish those off. Um, and it doesn't look like just a regular surged seam. You know what I mean? Um, it's just an, it, like they use it on napkins a lot or handkerchiefs, silk scarves, you know, imagine how all those are finished. So don't feel like that's a, a ton of work. All right. Now we've got, um, it looks like a women's dress, a princess seam, double princess seams. Yeah, look, you've got one that goes here and then one that goes here. That's kind of cool. And then also the same in the back. It's hard to see. Yeah, so just like all these panels. That's cool. Connie Crawford, modern fit with ready-to-wear sizing. Okay, speaking of sizing, we've got from extra small to extra large and then double XL all the way up to 6X. So a large size range there, very inclusive. Neck facings, back invisible zipper. And look, I mean, you can get a ton of uh, shaping all throughout here. That's really beautiful. I bet that's flattering on literally everyone. No matter what shape you are, apple, pear, diamond, circle, <laughs> whatever all the other banana, whatever all the other fruits are um, that you can possibly be. I think that would be flattering on all of them. Very nice. Lovely V neckline too, not too low. Okay, next up, oh, a little mommy and me action. Mrs. Children's and Girls Dress and Sash, Fast and Easy. Hey, mom. 
the cleavage. All right. I feel like I've seen this, you know. I mean, come on. So cute. So cute. And they're still very much trying to work the African wax cotton trend. Yeah. Yeah, the v-neck's a little bit low. Just the design itself was a little bit basic for me. Um, I do love, I have a few patterns that have this drop front shoulder with the gathers. I do love that. Um, so if you don't have a pattern like that and you've never tried one, um, I, I do like it a lot. It is a little low though. So if you're fuller busted, you might, um, I mean, you'd have to consider adjusting this if you don't want it to be that low or rock it out. It is very flattering. It's not ugly on her or anything. It's just, you know, you might be a little uncomfortable, especially if you wanted to wear this to work. Um, but yeah, here she is. This, this dress reminds me a lot of um, another Butterick pattern that I have. So even with like the crossover and everything, everything about it is very similar. I think mine has the uh, a flounce going. But either way, if you don't have that pattern, this is a nice one. A nice style, nice designs. So cotton blends, broadcloth, chalet, gingham, crepe. Yeah. Okay, now a Lisette pattern. Play on stripes. I think I'm gonna like the back. Oh, am I? You guys just wait. I just got a sneak peek. So we've got some princess seams, center front um, seam, which is how they're able to make it look like chevron. They just took each one of those panels, one, two, three, four, and placed them on the stripes in different directions. So you can get that look too. Even if your fabric is just a plain stripe, you can create this like zigzaggy look um, just by how you place your fabric. Okay, here's another picture of the front. Bam, look at that, so cute! I love that. I have another pattern that does this like crisscrossy basket weave um, and I really love it. I don't know that mine is this low though. But yeah, this is definitely going to be part of my collection very soon. I just love that so much. Yep. So cool. So very cool. This would also be great as a jumpsuit. If you have a pants pattern or a jumpsuit pattern, you could just swap out this skirt for the pants and you'd be good to go. Love it. Love it. Very good. All right, here's the uh, the whole deal. Side po side seam pockets. Uh, the longer version has a side slit, a side zipper. Uh, what else did I miss? I think that's it. Kind of a simple basic skirt. I think that's why this is falling. This picture, this is falling a little flat for me in the front. Um, yeah, I, I, my only guess is because it's just a basic gathered rectangle. You know what I mean? So I would probably swap that out for maybe even a fuller skirt, circle skirt, pleated skirt, something that has more shape on the bottom, more flare on the bottom. But that's just my personal preference. It's cute as it is. Don't get me wrong. Cotton blends, broadcloth, linen, and crepe. Yeah, I feel like you'd need something with a little bit more structure to it just to make sure that these hold up, you know. I, I don't know if they're interfaced. I'm guessing maybe, probably they are. Um, but something with a little more oomph to it, which is why Shally and super lightweight fabrics weren't recommended. Cute, though. All right, we've got a Making History Historic Clothing Specialist Nancy Ferris... The, I can't say that I've ever seen any of her stuff before, but I don't typically do the vintagey stuff. So let's just click through these quickly. You get to make a fascinator. That's fun. I just, I don't understand why they have to style it 
of the era as well. Like, why can't she be styled like a modern person in a vintage style dress? You know, like only a very small amount of people are going to wear it this way with the gloves and the matching shoes and the crazy curly hair, and you know, but it's, you styled it in a way more every day and like regular person um, or average person, it might be more appealing to more people. That's just my two cents. Okay, next up, another lifestyle wardrobe. Jacket, sash, top, dress, skirt, and pants. Wow. Um, standard sizes. Okay, what do we have? It looks like a wrap, like kimono style jacket, kind of a flared pant. Empire, this feels a little young. Um, it gathered. The skirt's cute with this little uh, ruffle detail. There's the dress, another ruffle detail. Same bodice as that top. Okay, this is the skirt, the top, and the jacket together. And then the jacket pants and top. Skirt and top. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like something a teenager would wear or even like preteen, right? I mean, maybe not that. I don't know. It just feels a little young. I, and, huh, I can't tell. I don't think it's fabric choice. I think it's um, the design just feels young. I mean, are people really wear are people really wearing these tops again? I wore that like in high school. And then this is cute but not styled in either of these ways. You know, the skirt that's not something I would ever wear. This to me feels the most modern and it's just not practical for I don't know where I would wear that. What are the pants even So there is a waistband with a single back dart, so it would be a lot of work for me. Yeah, I don't, I'm not liking this one. The shape is, th well, first of all, the shape of this would never look good on me. I'd have to go out like this. <laughs> and then with the little mermaid tail on the bottom, no. No, not for me. Not for me. Hmm. All right, what's next? Okay, we've got a little asymmetrical one shoulder thing, I guess is still around. One shoulder with a ruffle. Here's one that has the sleeve but a strap. Now I do like that. That to me is wearable. And here's the regular one shoulder again slit on one side of the skirt. This is pants. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Here's the back. I don't know. It looks cute on her. I just don't feel very comfortable exposed with all that exposed. You know? So, I mean, obviously you could add this strap to any of these other ones, you know, the longer skirt or the jumpsuit, but uh, still, I don't know. It's not like wowing me. Like that one strap doesn't, you know, doesn't, what am I trying to say? That one strap doesn't make the rest of the garment look spectacular. Well, that's probably a terrible way to say it, but okay. We're hitting a bit of a rut. Let's try and see if we can't find something really cute. Okay. This one could be fun. We've got a lot of interesting seam details here. They've done them all in one fabric. They did do the stripes going different ways, but it doesn't make that much of an impact because the stripes are so evenly sized and spaced. But you've got a little mandarin collar, sleeveless, um, tunic length, and then like this button placket. Here it is with some like pick stitching. That's kind of cool. 
the sleeve looks a little funny to me. Maybe wide? Is it too long for her in the shoulder? Maybe. Yeah, it's okay. Catherine Tilton. That's actually kind of surprising. It doesn't seem as wild as Catherine Tilton's patterns usually are. But maybe with all of this, I could have maybe thought of that. But so it does have a waist seam in the back with darts to give some shaping. It's just kind of hard to tell because it's so, it's got so much ease everywhere, you know. But I can see this looking very flattering on some women, some figures for sure. Uh, the standard sizes that they have. All right, knit top, no, pants. Okay, so little, these are the pants that she had on with the, uh, the top we just saw. So, kind of like low rise, sits on the hip, straight leg, maybe a little bit. Actually, I think the fit on all the samples is pretty terrible. Look at this, that's too low. Like her crotch is right here. Weird. I just want to pull them up, you know? Does it say side invisible elastic elasticized back? Wow. Oh, no, guys, no. She is like a size four. And if this is not flattering on a size four, there's no way it's going to be flattering on my size 12. Wow, that's pretty terrible. I don't know what happened. In theory, it's supposed to be cute, but it's not. It's not. Wow. What is this? Are those darts? Oh, man. Tapered leg, pleat detail in the front leg. And top stitch detail on back leg. What is happening? Oh, I see now. Let's get a zoomed in look. Look at that. That is weird, guys. <laughs> that is so strange. Let's get another view. Um, here we go. It looks like a mistake. It looks like you messed up. That is bizarro land. And then, I mean... I mean, that's okay, right? But that, what is that? That's like a diaper. That is like a diaper. Oh, that's real bad. That's real bad. Let's move on. You guys give me a lot of credit in the comments for finding nice things to say, but man, there's nothing redeeming about that one. Wow. Wow. Okay, but this is really cute. This top is adorable. <laughs> Thank goodness, my eyes. Okay. So we have a woven top with like a cute little necktie and these really fun high-low sleeves. I love the sleeves on this. Super cute. These are different though, right? Yeah, okay. So these are just flared sleeves. And then you have your bishop, bishop sleeves, is that right? And a mandarin collar, look how fun. You have your back yoke with the pleats. Uh, separate pattern pieces for the different cup sizes. So that's really nice in a um, button down to have that. So your buttons don't separate, you know, pull apart from each other at the chest. You can get a really good fit there. So yeah, it looks like the same bodice with different collars and sleeves for each one. Right, yeah. And this is gonna be like shirtings, cotton blend, yeah, broadcloth, crepe de chine. Crepe de chine, that's the kind of shiny, satiny looking one. It's a little dated, if you ask me. But chambray, I don't know about chalet either. But seersucker, all those shirtings would be great. Very cute. All right, this one's fun. 
So it's like a layered top and sleeves. So is this a knit? I can't tell. Look how cute that one is. I love that one. Even with the little lace trim, that's a fun detail. Yeah, cute. Let's see. No, it's not a knit, it's woven. Shally, crepe, voile, and Georgette. All of those make sense to me. Cute. This one's probably my favorite, but they're all cute and fun. You know, imagine shimmying around in this one with all those, all those layers. Standard sizing. Ooh, look at this one. I don't love the pointed center front. It's like an arrow, but that's easy enough to fix, I guess. Yeah, it's like a armor. It looks like a breastplate for like, you know, when you rode the horses and did all the jousting. Yeah, that's what it looks like. A jousting uniform costume. What's it called? And what is this? This is so interesting. Is that a pleat or a dart? I've never seen one like that before, I don't think. But yeah, it's in every drawing. The pointed sleeves are cute. This, this, I don't know about this. They got a great fit on her. Yeah. So interesting. A dart coming from the arm side. I'm sure there's a reason for that versus doing it up this way. I guess you can put it anywhere along that, you know, radius. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to picture it with this just straight across. It's all right. Nothing spectacular. Cotton blends, chalet, crepe, and double Georgette on that. And then the standard sizes. All right, next up we have this little top, which they did with an embroidered eyelet, which I love embroidered eyelets, so fun. This one's cute. I, uh, this one is like what they, I feel like we're trying to accomplish with that lifestyle wardrobe one. Um, but it's missing that empire waist, which I feel is what really kind of dated it. But this is very cute, very wearable. Oh, look, even with the waist tie and even these sleeves, I feel like, I feel like this is cute and modern. Oh, and then you have the tie. Okay, okay. Gathered sleeves. Center front seam. Here's a sleeve with a little ruffle. What's the back look like? Just plain, plain straight back, which is okay. Um, it's not meant to be very fitted, I don't think. Cute. Semi pullover, semi fitted pullover tops, V neck with facings, and front and sleeve variations. Yeah, front casing with self drawstring, self waist tie, tie front. Sleeve flounce with baby hem. I love this top. Lots of fun options. Super cute. Super cute. And I mean, how many um, scraps do you have that are like a yard? You know, you could squeeze this out of a yard. Right? Cotton blends, broadcloth, chalet, crepe, rayon, yeah. All of the spring fabrics. I feel like you could even make it out of a knit, to be honest. Just size down one size. Even, especially this one with the little tie would be so cute out of a knit. Okay. Sassy McSasserson right here. Um, but look how fun this is with the lace overlay. Super cool. I don't know about this handkerchief part, but... 
There you go, a little half placket with a lace overlay on the shoulder. That's fun. Cute. Really cute. Okay, I love it with the uh, trim. Fun. Oh, here's the back, has a gigantic pleat in it. Okay. All righty then, well, this is kind of cute. Yes, I'm surprised that I like this as much as I do. I, for some reason, I don't know why I'm so surprised, but um, maybe because the trim is such a, it's one of those details that they always do in ready to wear. And for whatever reason at home, we just always forget about it. You know, you can find those trims everywhere. Um, and so I think that the fact that they included it in this pattern, there's going to be instructions for when to add it and how to properly do it, um, is intriguing, very intriguing to me. I like this a lot, a lot. The shape of the top, uh, I'm neither here nor there about, I guess, especially with this huge pleat in the back, but, um, I think there's a lot to learn from making this pattern. So yeah, I'll probably grab this one. Cotton blends, broadcloth, linen, crepe, chalet, and lace. Cool. That's fun. Okay, we're not going to look at the hat. That's it. We're at the end. This might be the shortest uh, first impression video, like maybe in the history of first impression videos. Let's look through the lookbook and make sure we didn't miss any. You know how sometimes they, I don't know, forget to list them or something. This is an absolute, right? This is freaking adorable. If you've been watching my channel for a while or my Instagram, you know that this is this is my style in a nutshell. Um, I do like this one, even though it doesn't really fit into my lifestyle very much. Here are our two like wax cotton samples on one page. And then you have these more like casual laid back looks. I did end up liking the line drawings of this one, but I'm not so sure it's going to make it into my stash. And the other stripey one, this one had that keyhole in the back, which was really interesting. Beautiful shaping on this one. Great for any body type. And then we had these two, which me. Or Catherine Tilton with the thank you for covering up those pants. My God, the diaper pants. They will forever be known in my mind with that little weird. I don't even know. I don't even. I, I'm sad that I was reminded of that because I had forgotten. Carefree casual. This was the first lifestyle wardrobe pattern we looked at. This is cute. Out of a dress, it would be stinking adorable to lengthen this. Imagine all of this as one. So cute. And then here was the second one, which felt, I don't know, odd. Like, I, you know what it is? It's, it's to me, the same person that's wearing this is not wearing this. So unless you're making stuff for yourself and then also your teenage daughter or granddaughter, you, you would never use all of these patterns. So for them to be sold as one is confusing. Cute little top. I love this top and this one too and this one three and this one four. All of these. I cannot buy four tops, but I do like them all. Um, this fencing uniform. No, thank you. Yeah, and then we had our jumpsuit. So there you have it. Butterick Spring. Let me know what you guys thought of this collection in the comments. Did you largely agree with me or... Did you love something that I hated or hate something that I loved? Um, let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.